Hey guys, haven't seen you in a hot minute. This is your host Ash, and welcome to Pruned Podcast. First episode, yay! Can I get a yay? Yeah, yay! Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Lord, hold up. Let me pray. Let me pray. Father God, I just surrender this podcast to you. Let this be the beginning, and may you be the author and finisher of this podcast as well. I pray you can run through all the episodes smoothly and just continue to draw in people, build a community, whatever you want to do regarding this podcast. I pray it is built on the cornerstone who is Jesus, and I pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. For some of the 50 people that have seen my previous podcast, I have rebranded. But the 50 people that are not the 50 people that used to listen to me, hey, awesome. Glad you're here. Let me go to the meaning of pruned and why I named it pruned. Pruned basically means cleanse. Did you guys know that? And God only prunes those who are already abided in him so that we bear more fruit. And I believe that's what God loves to do with us continuously all the time. Because the Lord disciplines those he loves. And pruning definitely feels like discipline for sure. Because he's cutting off. He's stripping you off completely naked. Like if you look at a pruned tree, it looks naked. There's going to be times in this podcast where I might be saying things that I don't even know what I'm saying. I'll be mad. I'll be sad. I'll be stupid. Because all fall short of the glory of God. And it's just a matter of growing and seeing my life and my journey and and how god just will continue to work on me and it's crazy that even just in my shortcomings and humbling humbling myself and going low and seeing how people have reacted towards my life i'm like wow so you can use my life in that way to encourage others so i'm not gonna doubt it this time and just post whatever god puts on my heart in the way that I can, because he knew that I was ready to say whatever was on my heart. Pruned is an ongoing season so that we can bear more fruits and that we are completely cut of our old ways. And, you know, it it should just keep getting better and better. And for those of you who do not know Christianity terms, welcome. This is a Christian podcast. Um, I really do hope some people will relate, you know, because that's the point of you seeing this wonderful episode is because God's trying to call you over (laughs) and he's using me. (laughs) Welcome. Um, I felt led to talk about Ecclesiastes 3. There's a season to mourn, there's a season to dance, there's a season to do some amazing stuff, and a season to do not so amazing stuff. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 11. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet, no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. So whether or not, I'm not going to know how my past plays into my present time right now or how my present will play out in the future that's what most people think or even how my future is actually being revealed through my present and my past but i don't know because we're not supposed to know the whole dang thing we just need to know that our god is the author and the finisher of our faith that's how it begins that's how it ends faith 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 He shows me that verse, and I'm like, wow. So you're telling me every season I'm about to go in, you've already prepared it for me? You already prepared me to go into what you prepared for me? And I'm supposed to win every time, victoriously, more than a conqueror type. And it made me just, like, dive even deeper into how I felt if, I don't know, one of the seasons I will victoriously go into eternal life. (laughs) If you guys know what I mean. You know, like it's it's still a victory in the end of that season. And if you look at how Paul looked at that season of going into eternal life, yet he was like, yo, what's it to you? I was like, wow, that's true. Because in Acts and, and furthermore, 
when they talk about people dying, they say, and they slept. And that is such a peaceful way to go out. Um, some people speculate, like, you won't even feel the sting of death. Oh, death, where is your sting? And I think that's also something that requires a faith step in those seasons where, you know, you're supposed to go with the Lord in the end of that season. I don't know why I'm talking about that, but maybe it's going to hit someone. Sheesh. Second Chronicles 20, verse 15. Listen, all of you, Judah and you inhabitants of Jerusalem, and you, King Jehoshaphat, thus says the Lord to you, do not be afraid nor dismayed because of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. All right, listen to this stretch, okay? Ecclesiastes 3 verse 11 says he has made everything beautiful in its time he has also set eternity in the human heart yet no one can fathom what god has done from beginning to end no one but everything god has made is beautiful in its time two things that i'm getting from this we need to learn how to stop and smell the flowers and two we shouldn't be afraid of the seasons to come there is a time for this and a time for this who wants to mourn for a season? People want to dance for a season. And we can't get caught up in what happened in the past season that it kind of ruins the revelation we will get and our ability to stop and smell the roses in the season that we're in. And this is coming from someone who just likes to go, go, go. Are we there yet? Why are we not there yet? When I could just shut up, just look outside, and look at these awesome clouds that I really love. I love clouds. Clouds are so nice to look at. Look at how slow those clouds move. Yet, in the slowness, they're continuously changing. They turn into a rain cloud. They slowly disappear. They, they make their way to the sunset, and then get colored by the sun's rays. And turn pink and purple and blue and and gray or whatever God wants to paint that sky that day. Ah, chef's kiss. If it's time, I think God would just like you to start walking, to start taking a step. I was a very hesitant person. I still consider myself, you know, struggling with that defect, but I don't want to try and associate with that defect anymore and a lot of people would continuously tell me you know god can't turn a boat that doesn't sail like yeah it has to start sailing before he can direct or you have to take a step first before he tells you okay you gotta go left now you gotta go right now i think their advice is kind of wrong we do need to sit but we cannot look for podcasts or youtube videos or go to people to confirm something that the holy spirit already convicted us with and that is what i'm trying to work on and that is my encouragement to you is to work on just obeying the holy spirit first don't grieve him i've totally grieved him and i'm not saying this in hypocrisy i'm really saying this like yo it does not feel great to be convicted by the Holy Spirit and still yearn for a validation or a confirmation or a prophetic word or something or a dream or a vision to get you going. It requires more faith to just hear a little nudge from the Holy Spirit and go, okay, yes, I'm going to do it. I even say right now to those who are accountable to people, if you're not accountable to someone, yo, you're in absolute danger you need someone you need uh paul and timothy but there's a system that god has made for us to truly thrive and we need one another if it's a friend that keeps you accountable great if if you could get someone who has more experience than you that is what i recommend because they made mistakes that you could learn from instead of you making all those mistakes and i don't know it's up to your grieving, up to your pain that you want to endure and burdens you want to um, carry that the Lord will share with you. But we, we have no time to 
dilly-dally. We don't have time to be overly cautious, and we also don't have time to be reckless, to have zeal without knowledge. And I really encourage you guys to read literally like Titus, Timothy, Peter, Jude, and you'll totally get, I guess, what I'm trying to say out here. And I guess my encouragement is seriously to just start whatever you need to do and go into it and know that your God, your Father, Jesus, like who they say they are in the Bible, they are for you. And if they are for you, who can be against you, you know? And there are only plans for those who believe. They're like Romans 8, 28, Jeremiah 29, verse 11. And other things that I could pull out and people are like, oh, well, you need another context, bro. Shut up, please, please. You need to start. You need to quit yapping and complaining about other people and comparing yourself to other people and just dissing people in the comment section and start doing what the Lord asked you to do six months ago, a year ago, five years ago, and thinking, well, that time has passed. I can't say yes anymore because delayed obedience is just disobedience. Why don't you just repent of that rebellion spirit and then come back to God? That's why we have grace. We we need to use it. We need to use His grace. <laughs> Not take advantage. I didn't say take advantage of His grace. I said use the grace. There is grace measured is is it grace or faith i think it's faith but his mercies renew every morning and his mercies endure forever so get off your butt stand up it's time stop looking for a confirmation let this podcast be the last one you're looking for please i beg you and if this wasn't what you were looking for um i guess it's 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 got to be for someone i don't know who you're working so hard And I personally want you to reap your harvest in due season. Keep doing good so that you don't miss your harvest. Don't give up. Keep going. Keep walking. Keep striving. And keep going low. And keeping your ear open to hear where God is putting you next. I don't want to encourage you to keep walking When the conviction of the Holy Spirit said not to go that way. I'm saying, keep going to where the Holy Spirit is going. Keep walking with the Father who is constantly keeping his eye on you and guiding you. Telling you actually, hey, we're going to go this way now. And you're going to go that way. And not keep it walking that same direction and expect God to show up, you know, later down the road. No. Walk with God. Please. That is what... I urge y'all to do because some people be thinking okay God just told me to go straight so that means if I hear turn left or turn right that's not him no (laughs) please 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 don't be afraid to ask God don't be afraid to inquire of him why do you think David was able to win all those battles Show the verse where David was inquiring. That is actually the perfect example. So inquire of him. He will lead you. And you will know that he led you because you inquired of him. Okay? If you're already getting unctions that are telling you, hey, you shouldn't be going there, then even that is, by grace, Holy Spirit looking out for you. You know what I'm saying? So I suggest you... Once you turn off this video, once I end this podcast, yo, inquire of the Lord, please, and ask him, where where do you want me to walk? Where do you want me to start? Um, What do you want me to work on? And he probably, he's definitely given you an idea as I've been yapping my mouth off, because that's all I have. And I pray it's more clear now, and that you don't need any more confirmation, you just need need god matthew 6 if he dresses the lilies with beauty and splendor how much more will he clothe you if he watches over every sparrow how much more will he take care of you i forgot how the bible first went oh my gosh yeah god loves you very very much and he's gonna take care of you the whole way through 
have fun in the season you're about to begin in and this was the first episode approved open up a discord so please dm my instagram at ash x christ if you want to be a moderator or something but i'm gonna be very strict it's not gonna be like a normal type of discord community type of server like i need some elite willing to help servanthood brethren yeah that's it god bless